Hi, this is Majino and here's my review for Flashpoint number two and uh, DC Online Legends number nine. Now, I'll do the DC Universe first. Uh, overall, I'm really, really enjoying this this comic. Uh, to me, it's kind of like, you know, it's like in its own pocket fake fantasy world type thing, Else Worlds. But it's just, I'm actually imagining this as like, um, Lex is in Brainiac's, you know, Brainiac actually doing everything right to beat the superheroes. And, um, that's why I think I'm really enjoying it. You know, you're actually seeing superheroes fall, and, uh, they, you know, they're killing, uh, other, you know, super villains. Not the heroes, but Lex and Brainiac. And, um, it, it's, it's really, it's, this has so far been a real enjoyment. Uh, in this issue, basically what's going on is, uh, Lex and Brainiac are figuring out a way to um, scan or get the DNA information out of uh, Clark so this way they can um, use their bugs to um, steal his powers and Lex gets the idea well why are you trying to get Superman when you can get Supergirl and that's basically what they do and um, it's it's also kind of interesting watching uh, Superman kind of lose focus and go off hinged a little bit just because um, we normally don't see him pushed uh, that far uh, too often so overall like I said I'm really enjoying this book I understand that it means nothing to continuity but you know it, it, it it's just like I said just a different totally different take in it on the way villains and superheroes are in, interact with each other so there's that now on to uh, probably the one you're waiting for flashpoint number two uh, I'll first start off by saying I really like the art. Uh, there's some really good moments of artwork in here. Um, some maybe not as good, but overall I think the quality was good. Uh, I think there's a fantastic cover here. Now, uh, I think overall Jeff Johns has um, really created an interesting world. Uh, you know, the, the world is obviously turned upside down. Uh, things aren't exactly what you expect them to be and I think seeing some of these characters and their attitudes it's refreshing because again this isn't your standard uh, typical you know like uh, Aquaman and he's just kinda playing this is Aquaman who's uh, killing everybody who manages to enter his water space and it's just I don't know to me it's just interesting um, on the other hand, you have Wonder Woman who's doing the same thing. Um, let's see here. I'll fast forward a little bit here. Where um, she's just totally ruthless and brutal. And in this case, this is Steve Trevor, and he's trying to find Lois Lane because she's doing um, some information with the uh, Resistance. And just seeing Wonder Woman just like throwing her lasso around his neck you know, squeezing the life out of him, trying to get the information that she needs. And it's just, I don't know, it's just like, it's, I, you know, Wonder Woman and Aquaman are two of the characters that are, I guess you can say they're totally lost. Uh, they need a retcon, they need, you know, something. And just seeing them like this is making me go, okay, that's actually interesting for once. Uh, we don't see the normal bland heroes. Now, the other part of the story is um, you have uh, Bruce Wayne and uh, Barry Allen. I'm sorry, not Bruce, uh, uh, Thomas Wayne and um, Barry Allen. And what they're basically doing is Barry's trying to explain to him, uh, hey, you know, your son survived in my world. You know, we need the reverse flash is, you know, zooms up to something. I need your help. And, you know, eventually after getting beat up, uh, Batman it kind of convinced kind of that you know he should probably give him a listen to but I think what's really you know drawing his attention is the fact Bruce is alive in this guy's world so if he wants to do anything to bring his son back to life and you know even if he has to die um, the ending to this story part was totally by surprise uh, and I applaud what they did now Basically, Barry Allen's trying to replicate the um, 
experiment where he gained his powers. And when I saw the last page, I was like, wow, they, they're they really taking chances. They're really doing something interesting. Um, the only sad thing is, this is basically, like I said, an Elseworlds book. Um, you know, like, when the when this is over and the retcon, you know, starts, you're not going to see Punisher the Pirate. You're not going to see Aquaman, Warlord of the, the Oceans. You're not going to see this kind of uh, characterization. You know, obviously you can't have Bruce Wayne's father as Bruce, you know, as Batman because you have a movie franchise. Um, same thing with the Green Lantern. Obviously, you can't. Hell has to be Green Lantern, otherwise the franchise dies. Um, you know, at least in terms of the movies, the cartoons, and all that other stuff. And um, so I know that they're going to have to reset everything back. Now, I still, I still am totally against all these mini series that they're doing. So I, I, I refuse to buy the, this extra nonsense stuff. Uh, the, you know, the side stories. But you know, maybe maybe I'll pick them up as trades when they come out. But at least for right now, I'm I'm not going to support this nonsense, no matter how interesting the characters are. Um, overall, though, this was an enjoyable issue. I don't think this is as strong as uh, Fear itself, but I think uh, the story is just starting. So you know, who knows? It can pick up in issue three or four, and um, I think it, it for what the story is trying to tell. I think it's doing it in a, in a constructive way. It's moving the plot line a little bit. It's showing us the world in little tiny pieces uh, just so that way we get a better idea of what's going on. And for that, I said that part. You know, Jeff's doing a really good job with that. Um, anyways, that's my review of these two books. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Uh, rate the video up or down. Let me know what you think. And um, I'll have more reviews up later. So until next time.